According to a recent study, the world is being inundated by plastic. More than 400 million tons of plastic is produced every year, half of which is designed to be used only once. Research further indicates that out of that figure, less than 10% is recycled. An estimated 19 to 23 million tons end up in lakes, rivers and seas. Plastic pollution threatens our food security as it destroys the soils that we grow crops, affects our drainage system by blocking the natural and man-made waterways and becomes an eyesore to the general public, particularly in our beaches, forests and urban areas and our sites that attracts tourists. The Gambia was far ahead of the curve in terms of recognizing the threat plastic poses to our general well-being and went ahead to come up with measures designed to halt the plastic scourge. Initially, enforcement was stringent. However, with the passage of time, Black City began to creep in. Efforts to halt the importation and use of plastic were to a large extent weakened by the porous nature of our borders. In recognition of the importance of managing plastic pollution and previous efforts taken thereof, this government under the leadership of President Barrow will provide the enabling environment for businesses to smoothly adapt to the available alternatives without any significant economic loss, and by doing so, create incentives for businesses that comply, adapt to plastic-free production and services. Another important front in the fight against plastic pollution is ensuring proper waste collection, management and disposal, three facets that are proving to be a bit of a challenge in the Gambia. Ozone pollution has many consequences that directly or indirectly affects marine lives, as well as humans. Sea animals are common victims of ozone pollution as they mistaken small plastic debris for food or become entangled in plastic bags and discard fishing nets. This poses serious threats to our future food supply and the livelihoods of those of us dependent on fishing for a living. Plastics are without a shadow of a doubt the cheapest packaging material. However, the long-term damage they cause to the survival of living organisms, large and small, cannot be quantified. But they threaten the health of the very planet we are living on. Marian Jai, Ajayi, GRTS News.